Hey guys, Buckeye Prepper. Today I'd like to take a look at my on-person EDC. I want to show you what I carry on a typical day, maybe some variations of what I carry depending on weather, circumstances, what I know I'm going to be getting into that day, what I might not be getting into. I'll also give a small review of each item we'll look at more closely. I'll give you some reasons why I carry each item, the functionality, maybe the multiple uses that they have that I like. And finally, my philosophy on, on what I carry and why I carry. First, we'll take a look on the upper left-hand corner. This is a Tommy Hilfinger wallet. Nothing special. Next is a Leatherman Charge. This is the Titanium. This also has the bit kit with it. Down here is a carabiner with all my keys. Uh, nothing super special. Uh, I have a Swiss Tech tool here also on it. Right here is a Surefire pen. This is aluminum. This is a SOG Tomcat 3.0. Also I'll be putting together with my Leatherman because I carry pieces of my bit kit with it. Here's a 4 sevens Quark Mini Double A Squared. This is a Casio Pathfinder watch. This is my Para P18 9mm Here's a Phobos outside the waistband holster for it. And here's a Comptac Minotaur MTAC holster. It's an in, inside the waistband holster. So what I'll do now is I'll bring up one item at a time, go over each one, uh, more of a detailed review, and we'll go from there. Okay, first I'm going to talk about my keys. This is a carabiner that is of climbing quality. I think it's rated for about 8,000 pounds. I like it because it is kind of large and bulky, and a little bit heavy, but it carries all the keys that I have on there, as you can see, a remote and lots of keys for work, home, work, play, those kind of things. Uh, it's also very strong, so I know I can use that in an emergency situation if I need to try and pull a car out with some type of towing mechanism, what have you. Uh, the only thing of notable feature is the Swiss Tech tool. Uh, I haven't used it very often, but a couple times I've used it for opening packages, which have come in handy, so I'm going to pull out a large knife. I can pull this out. It's usually on the outside of my pants, on a belt loop, easy to use, easy to pull off, easy to put back. Self-explanatory. Okay, I'd like to look at my Casio Pathfinder. This watch has many functions. Uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I've had it for about five or six years now. First off, it is solar charging that will solely charge the battery. You can kind of see that in the thin strip on the outside. It's really dark in there on the dark outside piece. That does very well at charging during the summer. But in the winter, I found that with shorter time of sunlight, that doesn't charge fully every day. Periodically through the week, once or twice, I have to put it out underneath a light, usually at work on my desk, and let it charge for a few hours. The only problem with not having it fully charged is you lose some of your functionality. Now, typically it's not a huge deal for me, but it is nice to have full functionality because you get your lighting up at night back, which during when it has lower battery charge, you don't get that. Um, some of the other features it has, it has a barometer, altimeter, compass, has a typical stopwatch. It also has a countdown timer that you can set manually. It has multiple alarms that you can set. It also has uh, multiple cities that you look through for each time zone. Um, it also is atomic clock. I enjoy that very much because I never have to worry about setting it for spring or fall. It always sets itself and it's just so great to have that I don't have to worry about setting it ever. It's all automatically going to sync up and I think this watch in particular will actually sync up with different atomic clocks and different continents that have it. So that's a unique feature that this has that I'll probably never get used by me. Overall it's a great watch. I've enjoyed it. It's lasted through a lot of abuse, a lot of rolling around the ground, working on cars, machinery work, that type of thing. Um, it's not very heavy. It may seem large to most people, but for me, I have a large wrist. 
so it's not that big a deal for me. I, uh, it's not a hindrance for me. I, uh, I very much enjoy it. It's a great watch to have. I will put a particular product number down in the description later on, and potentially a, uh, maybe a late place where you can find it. Typically, Amazon's going to be your best deal. I think I bought this for between 180 and 210 about five or six years ago at a, a at a discounted rate somewhere. So that's about it for the price. Okay, next I'd like to take a look at my Surefire pen. This pen is made out of an aircraft grade aluminum, which means it's very strong. It's also a very thick material in most places. So it's, it has a lot of strength to it. Uh, it would be great for, as a weapon, obviously, what it was made for. Um, a few of the caveats I've noticed when I've had it is that up here at the top, this is a threaded section that goes into the body. This will occasionally come loose over time. I've noticed over the last year that I've had it. When that happens, the ink cartridge, when you extend it to right, will not come all the way out. So that is one thing you need to be aware of. Um, I haven't put any Loctite or anything like that on it yet, but that might be a good fix for it. Likewise, at the bottom, this end cap here is very hard to twist off. Because it's also threaded, but it was on the very tight. I actually scratched it up using my Leatherman or small plier to twist it open but once you do have it open it becomes much easier for it to come loosened as you carry it in your pocket so those are the little caveats that I would mention personally that I've had trouble with the clip here uh, is, is not too bad um, I notice it does bend pretty easy as you can see it's not very thick so occasionally you have to pull it off tighten it back up so you get a nice um, good hold. I typically carry this in a front left pocket, the same pocket as my wallet. It, uh, it comes in handy to use. Um, I like carry, carrying it on the weak side as a weak side weapon because I, uh, my strong side is where I keep my handgun. Um, overall I, I rate it as a great addition to have for an EDC. I use it almost daily because you never know when you're going to need a pen and uh, this is definitely not one you're going to loan out. Um, it has many great features to it. Like again, I think you're pay, overpaying for the Surefire name. You can find these much cheaper on Amazon uh, under different uh, makers for the $30 to $40 range, which I think are just as well. The one thing I do like about this compared to the other ones is that this doesn't have a pen cap they have to worry about losing or taking off to write. All I can do is pull it out, click it, and I'm ready to go and start writing. Okay, next I'm going to take a look at my Leatherman, knife, and flashlight just because I use them all together in a system. As you can see here on the left is my Leatherman Charge, the titanium. This comes with the pouch here and one of the bit sets. I purchased additionally an, a bit set extension that has more pieces to it. Now how I typically carry it is my Leatherman in the pouch that will carry both two of the bit sets. Also, in my SOG pouch, I carry the third of my bit set. This allows me to carry all the bits that I have that came with the kit, and I bought an extra ones. So it's nice to have all those different possibilities with me, and not needing to go back to the car, truck, work van, office desk to get more, or a different tool. The charge itself, self-explanatory, great multi-tool. Uh, I would see Nutton Fancy's video for his review. He calls it one of the, the best out there for medium duty. I couldn't agree more. Uh, it's great. I love it. I use it uh, a couple times a week for sure. It's great for in a pinch and you don't want to go back to your toolbox. Or if you're out somewhere and you just need a quick fix. Uh, I particularly like that all the bits that you have. There's such great capabilities you have. that You can expand it to do many, many other things. On the right here I have is my SOG Tomcat 3.0. This knife is made of a surgical steel, stainless steel. I like it because it has a large handle for my large hands and I get very comfortable grip on it. It has nice jimping, very controlled for precise and detailed cutting. Um, it is a little bit on the heavy side. 
And it's not a real quick deployable one because you have to pull it out of the Velcro um, case here. But I really enjoy it. Uh, it comes in handy doing many things from cutting open boxes to eating steak, which I've done on occasion. Many times I've gotten knives at either a wedding or people's houses that just don't cut it, and this does it very well. This, holds, this also holds an edge very well, and uh, I couldn't be happier with it. The caveat for most people probably is the weight, which I don't mind bearing, and I'll talk more about later. Finally, I'm going to talk about the 4.7's uh, flashlight. This flashlight is, is just great. It's a twist on head. It has many options and modes you can do with it. Um, it has SOS mode, a blinking mode. Um, it's just it's great overall. Um, I would use it almost daily, I think, from anything from getting groceries out of the trunk to taking a look at something under the hood of the car. I typically put this on the side pocket of my Leatherman charge case. Down the side here. I also used to carry a lighter on the one side, but what I kept finding was that it would leak out or dry out or break very easily, so I stopped doing that. If you guys have good ideas for how to carry a nice lighter, um, maybe a Zippo, uh, I'd be curious to hear what you guys do.